Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be talking about the five Dragonettes of Destiny and drawing them. This is the third time I've done a drawing like this where I do a headshot for each Dragonette. I wanted to do a redraw of them because my style has changed quite a bit since the last time I drew them. So now I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about each Dragonette. First off is Clay. Clay isn't the most interesting character for me. I don't hate him, but I don't love him that much either. I think one of the reasons for this is because Clay's book was the first in the entire series. We couldn't spend too much time on his personality because we had to think more about what was going on in Pyria and learn about how this new world works. Although I do like Clay's protective nature and almost older brother-like tendencies. I can't get behind him as much as some of the other Dragonettes of Destiny, though. His thought processes aren't the most relatable to me. I do think his book was very interesting, though. It sets the stage for the entire series of Wings of Fire. Next up, Tsunami. Tsunami's book is one of my favorites in the first arc. I think Tsunami's struggles are pretty relatable, trying to keep her band of friends together and in line. Tsunami's character arc consists of her realizing that not every situation calls for a fight. She goes through a lot of character development, but still keeps her confident and courageous personality. Tsunami isn't my favorite dragon out of Destiny either, but I still like her a lot. I also think her book was really fun to read about. I like that we got a look into the one of into one of the most unique Wings of Fire tribes, Sea Wings. Third, we have Glory. I really, really love Glory's book and her personality. Glory has one of the most unique perspectives and situations out of the band of dragonettes. Constantly looked down upon by the guardians, this treatment has made her prickly and distrustful. But during her book, she realized that there are good dragons in the world. Glory is also very driven to change things for the better in the world and in her tribe. Glory's book is also a favorite of mine. I love seeing the Rainwing tradition since they are very different from any other dragon tribe. I also love that Glory becomes Queen of the Rainwings, finally someone good on the throne. Third, Starflight. When I first read about Starflight, I didn't like him much. He seemed annoying and a big know-it-all, but when I read his book, I began to like him more. I started to understand why Starflight was so nervous and why he felt the need to try and control his friends since Marcier put so much pressure on him. We also finally got to see all what all the Nightwing drama was about. The reveal of them living, living on a volcano was amazing. Starflight still isn't my favorite dragonette of Destiny, but I think he has one of the best character arcs in the series. He goes from a nervous dragon who doesn't believe in himself to one that is able to make his own decisions and use his smarts for good. Last, but definitely not least, Sunny. Sunny is probably my favorite dragonette of Destiny. Her book is amazing. I think Sunny is written very well. She's not just an optimistic naive dragon. She has her own thoughts and feelings and wants to prove that to herself and to her friends. I loved reading about her adventures, especially in the Sand Kingdom. I think the Scorpion Den is one of the coolest places to read about in Pyria. I also, surprisingly, quite like the scenes in Burden's Weirdling Tower. The Brightest Night was an amazing end to the series, to the first arc. It wraps everything up and Give Sunny a chance to prove to her friend that she's not just an optimistic little sister. And that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Thank you so much for the recent support. And I will see you next week.